<laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm going to try and braid Charlotte's hair. I'll show you pictures of what I'm trying to do. I think it's from Valentino Spring 2011 Couture Show. Um, okay. So, we want to talk about some of our favorite designers from the Spring 2011 shows because... Probably needs to be this too. Yes. Because... Guys, I've been asking. asking us. Okay, so... I'll list all my favorites and I'll tell you why. <coughs> Vivian Westwood, Alexander Wang, Comme de, Comme de Garçon, which is really hard to say, Acne, and Givenchy. Um, Givenchy. Givenchy. But we're not French, so. <laughs> um, Vivian Westwood and Alexander Wang both did this awesome chunky white paint in the girls' hairs, which I thought was such a cool collective unconscious thing. Kind of looks like gesso. If you paint portraits, then you would know that. But um, uh, and they're they're polar opposites, and it works for both of them, which I thought was really interesting. But Vivian Westwood just had a lot of like tans and browns and plaids and layers, and she put like paper bags over some of the girls' faces, and it was like really just kind of avant garde and about the clothes, and I just really like that and. I'm kind of an extremist, so I like Alexander Wang, too, because he just kind of has all these gossamer white pantsuit kind of outfits, which is, like, completely opposite from Vivian Westwood. Um, I like Comme de Garçon because they made some really awesome boxy-looking suit outfits and jackets and uh, put these white and black wigs on all the girls with, uh, like, this... It looks kind of like a hairnet. Like, it looks like a wig inside out. If you ever saw the inside of a wig, how they do the spirals of hair nets, and then they, like, it looks like it's flipped inside out, which is, like, really awesome because it's kind of like a hat and a hair net and a wig. It looks like the inside of a straw hat. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Um, I like acne because all the girls look like little ghosts, and they all have really cool platform chunky shoes on, but they're wearing, like, short, sheer, white, and gray outfits. Um... I like Givenchy because uh, they have this goth kind of macabre look, which is really awesome, and everything's really the wine long. wine lipstick. Looks really, it. really good. And the loose braids. Yeah, they have um, like big hair. puffs of like British, like teased hair, but then like at the bottom they have like these little braids, which is such like a cool. Like, I, I don't even, it just, it's a cool shape. yeah, it's like what you would do to, like, a horse's tail for, like, a show or something, like, really awesome, but they have, um, long, sheer, black, like, very Halloween-y, but, like, sophisticated Halloween-looking dresses, really awesome. Um, Holly has Medium Kerchief. Medium Kerchief, I love that show because... At first glance, it's kind of like a lot. Fruit roll-up. Yeah, fruit roll-up hair. Definitely looks Kool -Aid like fruit roll-ups. Kool-Aid hair. But it's awesome. But it's, it's awesome. the most beautiful yeah. show I've ever it's seen. It's the most, like, genius layering ever. And the headpieces, I forget. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'll post it to you guys. But the milliner who made the, the crowns, the headpieces, um, has done work for Lady Gaga and Gaff Daphne Guinness and, you know, all these people. And it was really amazing. So I'll do a post about him later, but I love that show. The layering in it is genius, and the 90s inspiration, I love that that's in the early 90s thing, and the Courtney Love, and, and it's such like a... Girly grunge, I love that yeah, term. They brought like up the term grungy, girly grunge. it's like a grungy fairy tale that. kind of show, which is really cool. And the QB doll makeup. And uh, I was reading about the inspirations from it, and it was like, uh, you know, like girl rock stars in the 90s, and then like ballerinas and the the horror film Suspiria if you've ever seen it it's just like I think a 70s horror film and uh, it's filmed in old ballet school and they had like broken dolls for the inspirations for the makeup and things like that and I love the the theme that goes on in that show and the doll makeup theme is also in uh, Vivian Westwood like she starts out with this really light makeup and as it goes on with the masks and the paper bags and everything it starts to get more and more like porcelain doll looking so that was kind of an interesting like doll theme which I didn't really think about but um, obviously, John Galliano does it like every time. The Dior and. Those are really messy ones. 
We'll try for a clean one on the other side because I kind of like this one. I don't want to undo it yet. My hair's like too dark. Like, Alright. Move over. Okay. So, Wonderkind. Yeah, Wonder Wonderkind. I don't know. We'll get into you. So, everyone was just talking about like the fruits and that he did cherries because there was the bananas from Prada and things like that. But this collection reminded me of like. Girl Scouts and those little really colorful packets of flower seeds that you can buy. Mm -hmm. They're like made out of paper and printed on that I used to buy when I was a little girl. I would go to the store and like make my mom buy the prettiest like packets of seeds and then try and grow the flowers on them. I love the packaging. So it's kind of like that mixed with like that khaki tailored kind of cropped Girl Scout thing with sheer stripes, which I love. And I wore black and sheer striped remember leggings to that one dance in high school and it's kind of like that so I love those um uh Landman 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 was gorgeous so sexy they're just so like they have like the the perfect woman down Albert Alves the shoes are amazing all the jewelry was if you if you look at it really inspired by the arts and crafts movement which is kind of like Things like jewelry and pottery and, you know, leather and woodworking and um, metalworking were really coming into their own in the early early 20th century. And there was a lot of influence from Art Nouveau and things like that with butterflies and bees and the kind of, like, revealed conventions of, like, you can see the nail going into the leather and you can see how it's made in a ring that looks like you can see the hinges. And I think that's really cool. And their whole line it's interesting is about craft. Ev with everything is lot. is so matte like uh, there's such neutral colors that kind of it's not like super shiny silver or you know it's it's it all kind it's of blends 70s, yeah too, it so. all kind of blends into each other which is really nice it's really pretty color. and the harnesses i love the like nod to fetishism and the leather belts around the chest and like lively wore that dress so well and i love it on frida and the one on Oh, yeah, I just I love good. those dresses and the big purple skirt. Um, also, her Darcy killed it. <laughs> and we just watched the video. If you haven't seen Al Fanning, with Al Fanning, it's in perfect. The video for Rodarte Spring 2011 show, and uh, it's amazing. She's like made to model that line. We love the gold lipstick and the just, blues and browns. It's just too perfect. 70s. The fake eyelashes Perfect. with the gold on the um, no. with the gold on the just on the outside of the eyelid. It's um, so perfect. Seventies glam. I got these rings. I got this one in a blue one. Can you see that? I can't see. Yeah, you can see it. It's got little brown designs on it. They remind they me of the kind of like Rodarte. and the flowers. What else we got? John Galliano's makeup. Oh my god. <sighs> Melissa Tamarine with the blonde hair with the sparkles perfect. in it. Perfect. That was my favorite makeup job of the whole year. And I liked Yohi Yamamoto's collection, the black layered, sort of gothy, all over the place fabric collection. And it had like bright neon spandex underneath, which was fun. And kind of like early 90s also. I really liked that a lot. No, I'm going to do that again. Well, no, let me see. Look at what comes up. Actually, that looks really That looks so good! Should be messy with it. <sighs> I really like it. It's really cute. There are a lot of braids this season too, and for pre-fall, there are a lot of braids. I loved Givenchy pre-fall with the plum and the lavender colors and the black crosses and belts and the sort of like goth sheer like mini skirt versus full length skirt with like you know the opaque mini skirt and the sheer long skirt everyone's doing but I absolutely love it Everybody should have bought that lace skirt at the <laughs> Punk Rock Flea market. market I didn't fucking buy it because it was kind of like cool dirty. thing in Philly it. they do it at in December and they do it um, in the beginning of summer is the Punk Rock Flea Market and it's usually at the Starlight Ballroom um, this year I don't know where it was they changed December. the name of it but that's where it was at yeah. it's just got a different name now but, but um, just a bunch of people bring like really awesome clothes and they get stands and it's like an open indoor flea market and it's um, okay, so we have Mew Mew written down. 
because, and this is what Holly and I were discussing earlier, oh, yeah, me, me. that you're always shocked at the beginning of their shows because everything is kind of like a contained wild. Yeah. You know what and I mean? And kind of thematic, thematic at first to the point where you're like, that's not wearable. Like, that's not going to catch on. Mm-hmm. You know, and by like, the end of the show. Weird prints. Yeah. And, like, the the the, the naked, like, pin-up girl prints and the, the birds. And then yeah. this year, it this spring 2011, it was, uh, they had, like, a lot of star cutouts and, like, shiny fabrics and neon and um, little flower eyelets that are kind of like um, the stencils for, like, Amish furniture. Mm-hmm. And swans. And then the... They, um, the music, what Mutual Prada played, the soundtrack to American Idol. So it was very much just, like, paparazzi, glitzy, like, shiny. Look at the Leather jackets. Thing. And it was really, like, kind of immature looking at first, I thought. Mm-hmm. And then, but what happens, we were saying with Mimi, is that you think that at first, and then by the end of it, all of a sudden, everyone's using it in every editorial, and it's just the most popular and the most catchy outfits. And really, some of, like, the best outfits of every season come from Mimi's collections. And at first... It's the most the, you, genius you know, you don't expect things it. ever, like, uh, like the um, the removable collars, and like uh, they had um, the shoes for the spring two thousand eleven were like pointy neon and silver, like I don't even nylon kind of, and like the the strappy strappy sandals, mm-hmm. like all tricolor like, tricolor like, strappy sandals, pink pink gold and silver, like amazing, and I have. A, pair of sunglasses from Mimi's 2008 collection, and they're, like, my favorite thing ever. Just their details. Yeah, and they they always do the kind of very um, contained, Mm -hmm. tailored-looking... Because it's Prada. Two-dimensional, like, yeah, like, uh, stained glass-looking, like, cut-out pieces. Very graphic, young, kind of mod-inspired, so... And now we're ready for fall. I think we no did more good. We're ready about for fall. Or fall collections, even though we love them. Yes, because fall comes out literally not yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's like, already like it's, twenty shows out, and and, and we, it's not even we spring only yet. Too. Yeah, but that's how the fashion world works. So what happens is you have to think about spring in like December and January, and then in February you have to think about what you're going to wear for fall. So. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>